I'm Nancy Hudson and I'm the HHS Extension Educator for Purdue Extension here in Fulton County. And today helping me is... Tim Wagner. Hi. <laughs> and Tim is going to be my sidekick today and we're going to see how good of a cook he really is. So Dangerous. keep your fingers crossed. Yeah. Today we're going to be uh, making some sweet potato biscuits. Now I chose sweet potato biscuits simply because it's the fall and we all know that sweet potatoes are big for Thanksgiving and Christmas holidays. Sweet potatoes are wonderful in nutrients such as vitamins A and C as well as chuck full of fiber. So it's very, very good for us. So with all of that said, we'll go ahead and get started. So the first thing that we're going to do is um, prepare our sweet potatoes. Now, what I did last night, I took one large sweet potato baked it at about 350 degrees Fahrenheit for around an hour, let it cool, and then I took the, uh, the, the skin off of it and then mashed it. So I'm gonna hand this over to Tim. Mm -hmm. And what we are going to do, I also have, and this makes, let me back up just a second, this makes about three-fourths of a cup of cooked sweet potatoes, and that's what we need for this recipe. So along with this, we are going to mix in a third of a cup of milk. And what I'm gonna have Tim do with this is take this potato masher and we wanna make sure that the sweet potatoes are mashed well because it will taste better in the bread mixture. And he's gonna be mixing as well as uh, mashing the sweet potatoes into the milk. Now, while he is doing that, I'm going to work on the flour ingredients uh, for our mixture today. Now, this recipe calls for all-purpose flour, and with all-purpose flour, you do need uh, baking powder, salt, and so forth. But now, I'm using self-rising, so I won't need to do baking powder or salt because it's already included in the mixture. So what I'm going to do is I need about a cup and a half of this. And what I'm gonna do is just kind of put it out here. And the way that I do it, I just, I don't, I have uh, sifters at home, but I found that if I have this wire um, uh, sieve type thing, that it does just as well. So it's, it's a lot better to use that. For me it is. Easy. Now, yeah, what we're gonna do, is put in here um, one and a half cups of flour. Now what I'm going to do is mix this together and now when I taught high school family and consumer sciences I always taught my students to set this cup down where it's level and you spoon it in. You don't take your uh, measuring cup and go doing one of these numbers and dump it into your bowl. So Why not? you do well Let's go because back. it's Why going not? to be too heavy in the mixture. You won't get the right amount of okay. flour in there. Well now I know. Yeah. There you go. So what I do I have to stop doing that now. Yes, yeah, I know yeah. you will. You're gonna to have to buy all this good stuff so you know how to do it correctly. So with this, you just wanna put in and you wanna level off with the knife. So there's a cup and I need one more. Now I'm sure that many of you who cook can just about guess what ingredients and so forth and how much and all of this kind of thing. Because where I was raised, it was a pinch of this and a dash of that and I had no absolute clue. So at any rate. But now we have the internet and we have we printers. Do. Yes, yeah. we do. So there is our cup and a half. Now, the other thing uh, that we need is our sugar. This is two tablespoons of just granulated sugar. So this is regular sugar today. Yeah. And all I'm gonna do is just mix that in a little bit to where it's, let's put this over here, to where it's blended well before we do anything else here. 
Now, the first thing that I'm going to do with this, I'm going to make a well in my bowl of flour here. And Tim, if you would, let's see. And he's got this mixed pretty well. If so, I did one thing right today, that, yes, that was it. That's right it, there. right that there. And then thing. we just want to put our sweet potato mixture here in the center of the well, just like this. Are you getting this okay? Do you understand what we're doing? Yeah, I'm with you. I'm with you. <laughs> okay. You're not so, about my uh, okay, skill set yet. Yeah. That's good. So then what we want to do is just take this and we want to fold it in to the flour mixture. Now when you fold, you just take the spoon and just turn it over. In other words, you're not beating. <laughs> you are turning, gently turning. And that will incorporate uh, the sweet potatoes then into the flour mixture. Instead of just mashing it into a paste. Yeah. Right, right. So what we're gonna do is, if you'll notice here, this is still pretty dry. So I'm gonna add a little bit of milk. Mm -hmm just a little bit at a time. And what my goal here is, is for the milk to cause this to form a ball and be all cohesive, which as you can see, it's not it's gonna not do. Yet, yeah. yeah. So we'll add just a little more. It's just by look really, isn't it? Yeah, it is. And it also sometimes depends on your weather. Because ah. if it's raining, uh, it may be harder to mix up. Mm -hmm. So anyway, now the other thing that you want to consider here is your sweet potatoes also have a little bit of water content to them. So when you're mixing this, you've got to take that into consideration as well. Does some of it bake out when you actually bake them? And I'm sure some of it comes out whenever you, whenever you bake a sweet potato. Yeah, it does. Yeah. It does. Now, what I want to do is... Looks like all my stuff, Tim, is just going. It's crazy all over the place. Here. I know. Okay, we want to mix this flour around. And I am going to put this just like so, right in the center of my board. Mm -hmm. Now, folks, I do the hands thing, so um, it's easier. For me to do it that way. Actually knead it with your hands? Yeah. Yeah. Are there people who don't? <laughs> but I apparently know, there are. Well yeah. Be, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Now all you do is you just keep kneading. And this is kneading. It's causing the uh, gluten to work in the dough. You can hear the scoffs at home when yeah. you said the word. Yeah. And then what we're doing is we're going to flour the board or flour the rolling pin up here a little bit. And then we're going to start to roll. Okay. Now, what we're going to do here is take our biscuit cutter and get our pan ready. Now, if it feels like you don't have enough flour, you can roll it again mm -hmm. and get your flour mixed in there a little bit better. Those look pretty good. Yeah. yeah. And I'm going to roll it just a little bit more here. You get a lot more out of it if you keep rolling yeah. it again. And, yeah. and when you knead, you just put your fingers underneath, mm -hmm. press, and palm down. Now, if you were actually doing yeast bread, you would be kneading for oh, wow. yeah, a while. <laughs> yeah. Very true. I made donuts at home one time, and it was uh, it was a process. Yeah, it does. It takes a while to do yeah. it. Worth it. Yeah, it is. And what I do is I just keep 
rolling it until all my dough is gone. gone. Want to roll it um, about an inch and a half thick. Mm -hmm. I think I might get one more, maybe. Just maybe. Yeah. The bonus. Yeah. And you know, I think I'm just going to put that one down just like that. It'll be the best looking that, one. There you yeah. go. Now, let's put these in the oven for about 11 to 12 minutes. And Tim, lucky for you, <gasps> I already have some. So... We like it when things are just done, when we arrive. Yeah. If you would hand me that bowl and the honey. Honey, hand me the honey. <laughs> okay, this is what they look like. Whoa. They're very, uh, usually very golden. And I'll tell you another thing, you can use butter with them or you can also drizzle them uh, with honey. Put those two together, you have honey butter. There you go. Genius. Yes. So folks, this is what they look like. Try them, they'll be wonderful for Thanksgiving morning, Christmas delicious. morning. Uh, they're very fluffy, they're light, they're very good for you. And they're easy to do, and you can get your kids involved in this as well. So um, try this recipe. Uh, we will, uh, if you need the recipe, just give me a call here at the office. It's 574 two two three 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 nine seven and thank you so much for letting me come into your home today and um, cook for you because that's what we're all about here what do you think tim i think it's time to eat okay. so we're gonna do that now thank you thank you